Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's up, you guys? How are you guys doing today? This is a commentary. <laughs> Dude, I swear, I've been spamming your sub boxes today with these, uh, these videos. But I'm just super pumped for Black Ops 2. I watched a whole hour of gameplay on it. I've been watching all the Black Ops 2 news videos and all that stuff. And, you know, I can't help myself. So, right now, I'm making a video. We're going to cover all the kill streaks, a.k.a. the score streaks now. We're going to cover all the score streaks in Black Ops 2. And as far as the gameplay is concerned, this is a, let me think here, a relatively nicely paced MOAB on dome with the most overpowered gun in the game. Why was I using it? Because this was one of the first MOABs I ever decided to go for, and so I used an overpowered gun. Big deal. So what? Give me a hug. I love you guys. Um, let's cover the score streaks, kill streaks, all that stuff. And remember, if you guys really enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. It only takes you half a second. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help us get to 10K before Black Ops 2 releases. So let's go ahead and cover all of these score streaks. Now, there's a big difference in the way all the other Call of Duties handled their streak system and the way Black Ops 2 is going to handle theirs. Instead of um, you getting, you know, one point here, two points here, kill a guy, get a point, cap a flag, get a point, instead of it being like that, they're going to be doing it a little bit different. Now, things are going to be, like, here's an example. The UAV is worth 375 points. A regular kill is 100 points. A flag cap is 250 points. You see kind of how it's going? If you destroy um, a dragon fire, that's 50 points in itself. So the points are going to add up for you to get your kill streaks, a.k.a. the score streaks. And that's how this game is going to work. And I'm actually very excited because it's a completely revamped system. So I am excited to see how it works. Black Ops 2 is looking to be a very promising game. So let's go ahead and cover these score streaks. First one on the list is the RCC. It is, if anybody played Black Ops, you're definitely going to recognize it. It is a remote-controlled car packed with explosives. So it's the RCXD car, basically. The next one is the UAV. It's worth 375 points. It shows enemies on the mini-map. After that is the Hunter Killer, 400 points. It's an airborne drone that seeks out and destroys a nearby target. Now this kill streak looks pretty cool. Basically, it's AI controlled. You just take it out and you throw it like a paper airplane and it goes and finds a target. Pretty interesting. The care package is worth 450 points and it will airdrop a random score streak. Counter UAV is worth 475 points and it temporarily disables enemy radar, which I'm sure you guys could have guessed just by the name. The Guardian is worth 500 points and it is that thing that we all saw in the trailer that projects a microwave field that stuns and impairs enemies. It seems to make them look very upset and disgruntled and they look sad about walking towards you and you'll be able to take them out with relative ease. The next one is the Hellstorm missile worth 525 points. An air to surface missile. Uh, an air to surface missile. <laughs> I said an air to surface Mitchell. Yeah, like some Mexican dude's gonna come out of the sky. Yeah, okay. Mitchell. Whatever happened to that kid? I used to know a Mitchell. Anyway, it's an air to surface missile which can be scattered into a cluster bomb while falling. And that looks pretty cool. If you guys have seen that, it actually looks just like a Predator missile that explodes into a thousand Predator missiles. It's a pretty awesome thing. And I'm, I will probably be using that, to be honest. The lightning strike is worth 550 points. And you can launch a coordinated lightning strike on three locations. It, it kind of reminded me of the uh, mortar strike in Black Ops. The death machine is worth 600 points. Your own personal handheld minigun. And of course, we all recognize that from Black Ops. The sentry gun is worth 650 points. An automatic sentry gun, which can be remote controlled. Pretty awesome. Dragon fire is worth 700 and oh sorry war machine 700 points grenade launcher with a rapid semi-automatic firing so of course it's the noob tube of this game but it seems like there's no noob tubes besides this one so that's an interesting thing right there the dragon fire is worth 725 points remote controlled quad rotor with lightweight machine gun bam bam AGR is worth 800 points you airdrop an autonomous ground robot that searches for and destroys enemies and can be remote controlled that thing looks awesome. It looks like a beefed up assault drone. I'm excited about that. I want to be a transformer. I'm going to call it Optimus Prime whenever I get it, and it's going to be fun. The Stealth Chopper, 850 points. You call in a stealth helicopter, which does not appear on the enemy's minimap. 
The Orbital VSAT, worth 900 points. It is the equivalent of the Blackbird. It shows both enemy position and direction on the minimap. Cannot be shot down. The Escort Drone, 1,000 points. Get a personal air support from an Escort Drone. Interesting thing right there. It's going to be my little guardian buddy. The Warthog, um, 1025 points. So 1,025. Jet Aircraft that provides close air support and several strafe runs. Seems nice. EMP Systems, 1,050 points. Temporarily disables enemy electronics. Boy, I'm glad that's not a support kill streak anymore. The Lodestar, I guess. 1150 points. Laser missile targets remotely from the Lodestar. VTOL Warship, 1200 points. Be the gunner of a powerful VTOL v v v v v v Warship. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's kind of like the gunship from Black Ops because I actually really like the gunship a lot. I thought it was cool. That was one of my favorite kill streaks if it was a little bit more beefed up. And speaking of Black Ops and dogs and all that stuff, the K9 unit is worth 1,275 points, 1,275 for those that don't know. Attack dogs that hunt down the enemy, we all guessed that that was going to be in Black Ops. The swarm worth 1,400 points, calling a swarm of lethal hunter killer drones that search and destroy enemies. I'm going to be running dogs in that swarm. That sounds pretty awesome in my opinion, you guys. Man, these killstreaks look good. And there is a pretty decent amount of variety. I always like variety in my killstreaks. If you guys don't, then I don't know what you're on. But I do like that variety. And it really seems to have a ton of different things that you can pick from. You can have a lot of um, different killstreaks on different classes. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited that there is more variety than in Black Ops. And uh, Black Ops was one of my favorite games. So I'm just excited that they beefed up the killstreaks. Or the killstreak variety, rather. So anyway, you guys, that's all the killstreaks. I just wanted to bring it to you guys. So... Let me know if you enjoyed the video in the comments below. Go ahead and leave a like. It only takes, you know, a fourth of a second. You guys can do it right now while I'm still talking to you. And it really makes my day. Let's hit 10K before Black Ops 2. Let's do it, you guys. I love you. And I am over and out.